Hey guys, just want to do a quick video. It's been a while since I've done anything on Miss of Empires, but I'm back into the game. And, uh, I just want to show you a quick little build, uh, and then we'll talk about the, the taming process. Um, but my base is on the other side of the map, and I had decided, we'll show you, if you followed my videos before, I told you that I would found two heavenly horses on this slope and then or in this valley here on the previous server that I was on. So I started this server after the other one shut down and right there is my regular base and then I established this temporary stable here. But I had loaded up a stable and some other building pieces and I had, had come west because I wanted to see if I could find another heavenly horse in this valley or in, or on this the slope so I came over nothing not a, not a single horse I don't know if they've changed the way this works or if it was just an odd server random number glitch but man there was not a single horse in that area crap loads of tigers I've seen more tigers and, and bears and predators in general with this newest version of MOE uh, compared to what I remember seeing but anyway so I came over here three different times uh, off of two server different server restarts didn't find a single horse in this area but the third time I was coming over across the river right here bumped into uh, six different horses one of those was a buckskin which we've talked about is the one that spawns in this area so she had spawned again it's female that's three for three so buckskin is, is basically a cream color in the text related to that particular model with MOE they call it a gray but it's kind of a, a light mousy gray it's got some cream in it uh, depending on how the sun hits it, it looks more cream than gray. But anyway, so she's cream colored, black from the knees down, and black mane and tail. And in this case, the mane was extremely long, as was the tail. Now that's not always the case with a heavenly horse, but it was with this particular model. So anyway, I came over here, um, and you'll see I had a stable, I had probably seven pieces of this cheap fencing one foundation stairs wall an entry gate now if you make this thing two bases wide it's so much easier to hit with a with the, these horses because as you're trying to to tame them you know they don't steer very well so trying to hit one of those is a little bit tricky it gets easier with time and practice but be that as it may if, if you carry that material with you when you see a big group of horses or an area where a lot of horses spawn drop the stuff down and catch every single horse ride them over here drop them in then you can hop off them hit the E and you can add that horse to the stable so look at this Okay, currently got my guy here training this horse. When I dropped this horse, this is the one I was telling you about. I know it's a heavenly because when I dropped it in, estimated um, time of uh, taming was 77 hours. I dropped four other horses in. Two of them were, were these two. And I knew these were green because at, at that time, the training on them was an estimated 11 hours apiece. Now, I just dropped this horse in, and this horse is 37 hours. This horse is a spotted horse, kind of like the one I'm riding, and I really thought it was going to be green because of the way the spots were, and, and I'm gonna do a, a separate video on how to tell the quality of the horse generally by looking at it. But 37 hours, this horse is gonna be at least a blue, and it could be a low-level purple, uh, which is technically a heavenly horse, but this one is going to be a gold heavenly Now you see there's four hours left and I told you originally there were 77 when I started So I brought my tamer out here attach him to the stable You go in here you got these horses you can click on that right there 
and this guy's image would show up here okay so if you wanted him to tame this horse if he wasn't already taming that one you select him then you select how many hours you want him to to work and in this case he can cut the taming time of that particular horse in half from 37 to 19 hours then you know you'll pay some copper coins hit accept although that's in Chinese but uh, trust me that is how this works um, and I'll show you we can take him off so this goes back to 11 hours so we want to put him on changes it from 11 hours to 4 hours yeah and it, it's updated so in 3 hours this horse this heavenly horse is going to come do I can come back and drop him on this one uh, I'll be interested to see if this one's a high blue or a low purple um, but this one I raised and I'll go ahead and show you this one uh, if I was in the right screen I would show you that one Normally, I don't breed to greens because I think that's a waste of time and resources. But this was two, these were two of the horses that I found this original batch of six over here. So I just caught them all and dropped them in this stable. So it had this male 63.7 with only two blues, kind of blah, right? Well, look at that. And we'll talk talk about this while we're at it. Um, all blue traits and, and talents and one heavenly talent okay well that's interesting got a female she's kind of blah too right two blues don't like the greens but she's got that talent so here's what happens when you have horses and you breed them what they have here is going to go to the offspring which is this one right here okay now they only get them once you're not going to get them twice see because this talent popped up and it's active okay so we had had these talents and then these came over from the parents as inheritance now this one has added two on its own and those pop from the RNG because neither of those parents had that right there but because of that and because of the quality that the parents had I thought that I breed those two together and I'm going to get a pretty decent fold now the inverse of that is true as well. Sometimes I've seen you got good quality rating, but you got crappy talents and traits, and you breed those two together, and the overall quality rating of the foal is not as high as the parents. So it's twofold. We got quality rating, and then we've got traits and talents. And those traits and talents can either bump your foal or they can drop your foal. Okay. So one thing I would suggest if you're looking to increase your herd improve your herd go to an area where there are a lot of horses it doesn't cost much to do this um, and, and the abundance of quality horses is going to be different every server reset so you go to an area you're basically a parasite you take every horse in that area drop them in here train them keep the good ones get rid of the bad ones you know and then either you leave it or you tear it down and you know go somewhere else um, I'm kind of torn on whether to leave it because I, I can't remember on the, the building limits that we have, the number of buildings you know we can have up. Uh, we'll probably tear it down because there are always horses in this area, but not as many as there were when I came over here the first time. So, long and short, carry enough materials to get you a small pen like this that you can build on a stable. You got a ready-made ramp you can ride over and drop into. And then you just hop off, you hit E, and it says add horse to the stable. Boom, the horse goes from this pen area into the stable, and it, it starts to auto tame. Now, if you got somebody here, you see where it cuts the time down dramatically. Um, so, if you've got somebody that you know you want to increase their taming, get a, a hog pen or a rabbit pen, have that person just attached to it and you'll get the animation you know where they're feeding them but they're really not doing much of anything but their skill is developing now the odd thing is this guy is, is uh, training but I don't see that his skill is developing 
because he's been 601 since I brought him out here. So, the, the stable doesn't work like the other pins do, but you can prime him by putting him on, you know, like I said, a hog pin or a rabbit pin or whatever, and let him just kind of sit and hang out there, and he will passively increase his taming, and then you can bring him out here and put him on these horses. So, anyway, I hope that helps. Um, this has been a really good experience for me and we go back if you're looking for a heavenly horse I've had great success in this area here with that like I said that buck skin color if you look at my previous videos you'll you'll see the color I'm talking about um, on this slope there's a, there's a slope here that that uh, runs north and south and you know then there's a valley here like I said, I found two there, and then I found this one here. So I think you're pretty safe that, you know, in that block there, you're going to get that buckskin. I know out here other people have found white ones, found black ones here, um, and darker browns, you know, and then the reds up in the desert. Uh, but I found four heavenlies, three of the buckskins in this area. I found a white one. I believe it was here or here because it was just south of one of these lakes um, so that it and it, it, it and it's not a vibrant white it's kind of a grayish white with gray mane and tail so hope that helps um, love chasing these horses and learning more about this taming process so hey love to hear your comments or read your comments and if any of this was helpful uh, leave a like thanks